Hi hey guys, we're back again, and of course, here we have a nice fish. Didn't get him on camera though, but I got him with that pink worm. Nice chunker, nice good size to him. Um, as you can see, my hook's set there. I switched up to a three odd hook, but man, oh man, what a nice fish for this lake. My best fish for this lake, and look at that chomper on him. Nice, nice, nice fish. Put him back. Hey guys, it was Man 500 here, back with another video. Um, thanks for watching. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to say thanks to everyone who subscribed um, over the past three years that I've been doing this um, because I just hit 800 subscribers here the last couple days ago, so thanks for that. And I think I've already mentioned it in uh, another video, but I just wanted to say thanks again um, for all the support. Um, right off the bat, today's video, um, we're going to focus on some fishing gear. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a fishing video, but... Um, it's getting around that time of year. I'm starting to think about fishing again. Hunting season is beginning to wind down. Um, duck season is just about over. There's only a couple weeks left of that. Um, we got still got quite a bit of rabbit snaring left to do. And uh, the odd hunting video, I think we're going to try and get out tomorrow with Outdoors Guy 500. So stay tuned for all that fun stuff. And we're still doing the knife reviews and all that sort of stuff. The next review that I really want to do is my LED laser headlamp. I've been saying that I wanted to do that video forever. Um, it's been on my hit list, so stay tuned for that. And uh, anyways, so with this video here, I'm going to focus on um, maintaining your fishing reels. Um, as you can see, these ones, especially this one right here, is an older one. Um, I got that in a Cabela's order years ago. That's a Quantum Cubex um, with, uh, I think, I believe that's 10 pound monofilament, I believe maybe eight, I'm not really that too sure. Um, I got uh, Shimano Sienna, one of the smaller ones with the rear drag system on the back there that you can see. Um, I love this reel, this is an awesome reel. Um, Shimano really does an awesome job with putting together good reels. And then in the back in the back here I got another Quantum, the Ruckus, and that's got braid on it as well as the Shimano. This year I really made a huge jump um, as far as fishing lines uh, concerned, I know this is a little off topic, but I feel like I gotta mention it because I went from using the suffix, everything, from their braid right down to their monofilament, and I then I switched over to I have it right here actually, uh, Power Pro, and I've got a little bit of it right here. That's the 20 pound test braid. Uh, that's the stuff that really took off for me this year. Um, I start, I bought one spool of it. I started using it and. I love it. I swear by it. It's probably the best braid that I've fished with yet. Um, Suffix 832, mind you, is right next to that with their Gore Fiber technology, but the price sends me a little bit overboard on that at uh, about $23 a spool for a regular spool. So um, you make your you make your judgment on whatever you like. Me personally, for everything else that I'm buying, um, whether it be snare wire knives, gear to review, that sort of stuff, uh, gun oil for the guns, ammunition. Uh, money can be a little tight, so what I like to do is go with the most economically, but yet best gear that I can choose from. And with that being said, Power Pro was all of the best choice that I could make. Now, to the point of this video, uh, fishing reels in the off season. They can get a little wrangly, as you can tell by this fly reel here. It's it's a little tangled. Now this happens a lot to me almost every year, so don't go freaking out when you see that this is a big tangled mess right now. Um, the first thing I like to do when I get to this time of year, I say, okay, I'm thinking about fishing season. I want to do some, want to do some uh, some preparation for the fishing season, even though it's quite a few months away. Um, the first thing I do is I'll grab the reels off my rod, and the biggest thing with reels is either salt water and just regular water all together, and the cold weather. I keep all my fishing rods in a rack outside in the barn. Um, the temperatures in this time of year can fluctuate between, well, we're supposed to get 8 degree weather tomorrow and minus 15 next week sometime. So with that being said, I like to bring my reels inside and clean them up a little bit. Now, the first thing I do, like I said, I'll organize my, I'll set that like that, I'll organize my fly reel. Now, my fly reel is a little, 
not really that hard to deal with because it's a simple design. It's a cheaper end reel. I mean, it's an awesome reel because of the aluminum design. But I will cut my old leader off from the year before. This one thing that I'll never do is leave a leader. Buck Omni, 12 point. Um, the thing that I'll never do is leave a leader on for the next year fishing season. So what I'm going to do here is just... I got a little bit of a big knife for it, but it's what I had on me. I'll just remove that leader altogether. I think this is a Fenwick 9 foot 4 pound leader, which are awesome leaders. They never ever not. And I'll just get rid of it. It's been on there all winter so far. This is December the 20 something or others, but it's late in December, almost uh, 2014. So I will just remove that outright. I don't want to see that old leader on there because that's all I need. I'll make my first cast of the season, get hooked up with my first fish of the season on my fly reel, and snap oh, there goes my leader. So off it goes. I'll go to my local tackle shop, buy a new Fenwick weed leader, and I won't have to worry about it. Um, as far as the exterior is concerned, like I said, I use a couple different oils. Here's a brand new bottle of Remington um, Clean It Chemicals. Um, gun oil, my favorite gun oil by far. I also like to use this stuff, the hops. This is some awesome gun oil too. The only thing is, is that you don't have the spray can. And I like the spray can as opposed to just the oil that you squirt out. And this stuff, as you can tell by the container, it's leaking a little bit, um, which is another downfall with the hops oil. But still really good. But in any case, I still like my rem oil, my rem oil. Here's an older can, I'm just going to use that. And I love this nozzle that comes with this Remington oil as well. Um, I can take this, oops, if I don't drop it, and lose it. Um, I can take this right here, stick it in the end of my nozzle, and I'm ready to go. And what I'm going to do is, right in here, you can see in that hole right there, you can see all the gears. I'm just going to go in there two little squirts on one side two little squirts on the other, a couple right there and then what I'll do is I'll put it on free spool and I'll, I'll uh, kinda just frig with it a little bit I just wanna get that oil around inside those gears so I'm gonna pull my pull my stuff out like that just a little bit take it off free spool and just reel it in. That way I put it through the motions. I'm doing this off the camera, sorry about that. But uh, that way I'm doing it, I'm putting it through the motions, that oil's getting in through all them gears, which is really what you want. So that's really all I'm going to do to that one. Um, I'm going to take some of this hops oil and take this rag here, my rag that I use for gun cleaning. Take a little bit of this hops oil, um, put it on the cleanest corner of the rag, which isn't really much anyways. And I'm just going to wipe down the exterior of the reel, just to make it a little bit more presentable. Shine that all up. I know it's aluminum and it won't rust, but you know, I like my, my gear in good condition. Same with the other side. I'll just wipe that down, just like that, and it's good to go. So there you go, it's all cleaned up. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail off camera, like inside there as well. Um, but that's really all I do to it. I do do go a little bit more in detail as fishing season gets a little bit closer. But let's continue. Cuvex. Um, the biggest thing with this reel is, I find, is that I use this reel mostly for saltwater fishing. And salt water and fishing rods don't really get along all that well, especially if you store them in cold weather. So what I'll do with this is, I'll do the same thing that I did with my fly reel. I'll take my ram oil. This time I'm going to go right there in one of those holes and spray, spray, spray. And how this has been sitting out for such a long time, I'm a little nervous about it. But I can do that. Now, another thing that I'll do is, I will unscrew this drag. So, where the drag is in the front, I will unscrew it. Pretty much the whole way. 
unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. Now, when you're doing this, when you're unscrewing it, make sure you hold it upright, because the spool will fall off. And it's not really that big of a deal if it falls off, because you can just pop it back on, but I just don't like it hitting the floor and whatnot. But this takes a while to unscrew. It depends really on your reel as well. Unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. Come on now. That's almost there. And what should happen is... That should pop right off, like that. There's the tab there. And you can see... There is a little bit of rust there. But there is the inside there. And I can take off the spool if I want, and go and spray on the inside of the spool. As you can see, there's the, the workings of it. Um, I'll do that a little later. But for now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to spray inside the top part of that reel all around like that. Take my rag, give it a little wipe, and then I'll screw on my drag again. And then, once again, I'll go inside and do all that stuff and do the same thing with the hops oil that I showed you on my fly reel. Go on the exterior wipe it all down and wipe the top cap of that too as well. So that's that one. Um, pretty much the same process for this one. Not much of a difference. The quantums are a little bit pickier um, when it comes to cold weather so I do like to do a little bit better of a job on them. As far as my Shimano is concerned, I don't do really a whole lot to it. The reason is, is because it's a higher quality reel and I feel like I shouldn't have to. Um, I paid good money for this reel so most cases it's usually pretty reliable I will still go up and spray my Remington oil up on the inside casing where the spool is and I'll wipe the exterior off but other than that I won't take the spool off I won't do anything that I did with the quantums I'll just leave it the way it is wipe it down put more line on it and, uh, and then I'll sometimes I'll unscrew this drag as well but I'll wipe down the outside with the hops oil once again, just like I did with my fly reel at the start of this video. So that's what I do to all my reels, um, right from my Shimano's to my Quantum's to my fly reel. Um, stay tuned for more videos like this. I'm going to be doing a series of videos, um, gear preparation for the upcoming fishing season this time of year, like I said. Um, my mind's starting to switch over because things are starting to look up for a fishing season in the coming years so stay tuned I'll be doing more of these videos thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more because fishing season is rapidly approaching and as well stay tuned for more uploads from rabbit snaring 2013 2014 those videos are on the way as well so thanks for watching woodsman 500 here stay tuned Good, you caught one. I didn't. <laughs> that's a nice one too. Decent. Man, that's dark. Holy. Ah! <laughs> Nathaniel's having some trouble with his bait caster, but.